Moore Studio has been creating beautiful black and white fine art photographs for 117 years. And we have created a new line of portraits called our Legacy Collection. The Legacy Collection pays homage to this long history and experience that Moore Studio has had in creating black and white portraits. Through the years, we have learned and handed down from generation to generation the qualities of a fine art portrait. Our legacy collection gives to our clients a beautiful black and white fine art wall portrait that they can hand down from generation to generation. The emphasis of our fine art legacy collection is to represent the relationships between members of a family and the qualities of an individual. What are the qualities that make a portrait fine art? Well, I believe the very first thing that is required for there to be fine art is there to be an artist who has a vision. And our vision for the Legacy Collection is one that will represent generations and the relationships between them. Another aspect of fine art is emotion. In a fine art portrait, there should be both the capturing of emotion and the representation and the eliciting of emotion. When you look at a more studio legacy collection portrait, that emotion comes to the fore in our posing, in our lighting, in our expression, in the execution of the uh, print digitally, and finally, in the representation of it in the printed form. The expression of the portrait comes through in the body language we use in posing, and it comes through in the eyes, and it comes through in the expressions that we inspire and capture. There's also a quality to fine art portraits that is in their execution. There's a technical expertise that's needed to create a fine art portrait. A lighting expertise, a posing expertise, an editing and refining expertise, and there is a printing expertise that's required. Another aspect of our fine art portraits is that they tell a story and all of those elements I've just talked about, expression and posing and lighting and emotion and eyes and drama, all of that tells the story of the subject. And finally, the last part of what makes something a fine art portrait to me is that it has a timeless quality. And to me, one of the things that creates timelessness is simplicity. Not complicating the photograph with props and backgrounds and other things. We want a simple, timeless portrait, something that you'll be proud to look at today and next year and 10 years from now, hand down to children and for grandchildren. That's the legacy collection. That's our fine art portrait vision. There's something about a black and white photograph that is just very special. It because of its uh, tonal range, because the color range is limited, it really th thrusts the viewer into the emotion, into the lighting, into the nuance of the photograph in a way sometimes that a color portrait does not. But in order for that to happen, there has to be drama, there has to be energy in the photograph. Oftentimes a photographer who is not skilled in manipulating the light to get exactly what they want creates flat or compressed light. In a beautiful fine art black and white portrait, there is a full tonal range. I like in my portraits for there to be a black that is deep and rich and anchors the photograph. And for the shadows to have texture and depth and richness, for the mid-tones that represent the face and the highlights on that face, we like for there to be energy and dynamism 
in the highlights. We like for that, that highlight to add to that drama and for there to be a white point in that photograph. It may be a highlight, a specular highlight that gives energy and, and spark in just the right way, in just the right amount to that in image. The range of expression, the range of lighting, the posing that captures attitude and, and body language and mood, all of that combined makes for a beautiful black and white portrait. Ansel Adams once said that the photographic negative is the composer's score, but the print, the print is the performance. A more studio fine art portrait is not completed when we capture it in the camera and it's not completed when we finish the meticulous process of editing that photograph, going through zone by zone and creating exactly the tones and depth that we want in every element of that photograph. It's not finished until it's printed. And we draw upon our long history of printing photographs to create for you a beautiful legacy collection print. We use the very finest substrates, a, a photo quality, archival, museum quality paper. It's acid free and will last and last and last for generations. We use a Hannah Mule photo rag paper. There are three different finishes. There's a photo rag, there's a photo rag pearl that has a little bit more luminance to it. And then we have a watercolor paper that so beautifully reproduces the depths and richness of a monochrome photograph from the blacks all the way up to the highlights and the whites. The process of printing those with multiple monochrome inks so that we get the full range of the tones on the very finest printers. And then once that photograph is finished, we will mount that photograph on a hard back substrate so that it will last and not warp and not wrinkle. It's mounted on artboard or it is stretched and ready to be hung in the beautiful frame and matting. And we help our clients go through the process of selecting the correct mat and the correct frame that'll complement and highlight this piece of art. Once it's printed, once it's matted or framed, then it's ready to become a more studio portrait. Then it's ready to go on the walls of our clients who have commissioned them then it's ready for you to enjoy for generations to come. Then it's ready for you to have a legacy of your own to hand down to your children for generation after generation, just like Moore Studio has been doing for all of our clients for 117 years.